champions. Did you make breakfast for champions today? On a discount. On a discount? This is a... Uh, this is for sale. <laughs> <laughs> They're at a discount, so that's why it looks like that. Oh, okay. What is it? Explain. We got toast and scrambled eggs with pap. Um, this is pomegranate juice because it's good for you. So we're going to eat it with some syrup and honey. Let's dive right in. <laughs> and don't be surprised if she comes out hairy with long nails. Hairy with long nails. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. It does look like a big old water on that one. Really? No joke. The gigantic watermelon. Go to uh, what I am hoping is our final OB-GYN appointment. So we can get baby Amara checked out. And get her out? Like out? Out. For 40 weeks and three four days. Four days. And four days. According to my calendar. So let's go see what doctor, uh, do you remember her name? What she's got to tell us this time. We're here at the Women's Center. Mm -hmm. Brought to you by Community Health Centers of Pinellas County. It's paid for uh, with what? Medicare or Medi-Cal? Well, Medicaid. Medi-Cal is Medicaid for California. Isn't that the main entrance? Um, yeah, but that's not where we go because Oh, okay. So we call her. That's the biggest challenge for her, actually, is getting sleep at night. Yeah. Because there's no comfortable position though. Do you have a pregnancy I don't, I never, I, that's probably one of like one of my biggest regrets. I never a invested in one A pregnancy what? Pillow. I don't even know what it is. It's a really big pillow, but it's so comfortable. Mm. It helps me out a lot. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's go. This is 40 weeks. <laughs> Okay. What was your takeaway? That you're gonna be okay. Oh, <laughs> that was the takeaway. Being then. being overdue is not unusual. <coughs> being overdue is the worst. Oh, crap. Ugh. Being overdue sucks. All right, let me turn this off. You don't need to strip in front of the camera. Yeah. This is a what? To preserve my dignity. Dignity. This is a dignity cover. What well, dignity is left in the OBGYN? <laughs> office for a pregnant woman. I don't know, because I'm getting the cervix checked. That's not even what we done. For those who don't know. It's just the OBGYN came in, checked in. What do you think about what she said? So, what she said is that I have protein in my urine and my blood pressure is high. And obviously that's never happened since pregnancy. I've always had like a normal blood pressure about this entire thing. And protein in the urine, huh? Anyway, she said that she mentioned preeclampsia and they want us to go to the hospital right now. Emergency on our hands here. She's showing signs of preeclampsia, which is a medical emergency. And the OBGYN just gave us a script to go straight to the ER. Um, and that's what we're gonna do because we're not gonna stall to try to find out what happens. Where do we park? Oh, we park in there. With my body right now. What's it doing? What Sorry. is her body doing? What is I the message? I, I, I just, I, I really think it's just that Amara is ready to come out. That's it. And she just doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> she doesn't know how to do it. She wants help. She needs help, okay. Because right. you're 40 weeks 
and four days. Uh -huh. And then you suddenly go from no symptoms to... Being unbearably uncomfortable. Swollen hands and feet. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. Blood protein in, protein in, in the urine. That's just the message that the baby is ready to come out. And we're going to go to the hospital so the baby can come out. We're ready to have her. All right, let's go. I mean, we just did a preliminary heart <coughs> Uh, they did the uh, Doppler test while we were in there and her heart rate's great. It's at 160. But she did scare me in there now. She's like, you're going to take all this medication and if you're not dilated yet, we got to dilate you and it could be like a several day process. Oh my God. No, it's expected. Like she's going to, they're going to try to induce you. So. We're having parking problems. We're gonna find the car, and I guess we're gonna park in the emergency parking lot for Bayfront, and then we'll just walk across the street. I guess we'll just do that. But we gotta find a way to get out, because we gotta go to the street, we gotta go across the street, I think. Baby place. How to... It's day two of labor. How are you doing, Ash? I don't feel good. All right, you're four centimeters, four centimeters dilated. Still running high on blood pressure. Um, she's been in the 160s, 150s, 160s all night. I got it down at one point and then it so she's full on preeclampsia. The morning doctor wants to have her. Actually, I think they've started her on magnesium sulfate. And that should. I think you haven't given it already. I thought she started it. What's running on the drip? Yeah, she started it. But actually, no, she hasn't. She hasn't hooked it up yet. But anyway. Tamara in there, she heard my She heard my voice and she's getting excited. What the heck is going on? She can come out. Oh my god. So she's you were on fentanyl yesterday. Give you some fentanyl that helped a bit. But today we're uh, debating getting Snappy Girl. What do the contractions feel like?
Feeling fresh? All right, it's my time. We called it? Yo, what's the deal? The crew is great. Hey, I got out. Yes. All right, I'm following your baby. Being on this floor is so... <laughs> Creating a bank for your whole family and generations to come. Let's start with a tale of two families, the Rockefellers and the Vanderbilts. If you take a look at the Forbes 400 list of wealthiest families in the country today, you notice that the Rockefellers are still on that list. The Vanderbilts, on the other hand, are not. Why? Because the Rockefellers had a method to perpetuate and preserve wealth, rather than just hand, handing it down to each generation to start over again, the Rockefellers kept their wealth centralized, which allowed them, their family to become stronger. When most people die, their money just gets distributed and spent. Their wealth gets destroyed. But I know that you can preserve it, perpetuate it, and live. Lord, oh yeah, oh yeah, my sister and born. Um, it's only been out for a year, so that's my thing with being pregnant. But in y'all's case, no. did it make you want to get it? Since no, still no. Yeah, because we beat it. Yeah. Well, is that no deal? She's experiencing the world. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Hi there, baby. You sweet girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is what everything looks like. Oh, she's like seriously oh, opening her eyes for the first time. What? Oh, wow. Oh. Hold her hand. No? Okay. She's like, whoa. Ooh, hi. What is this? She's having an awakening right now. <laughs> what do you think of the world? Oh, you're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Her little, her little hat. <laughs> mm.
could take screenshots of the video too. Smile. Never touch your mouth again. Does she oh, like I it? I think she likes it. No? Okay. Are you ready to sleep? I think she's ready to sleep. Just like this little ones, the trust is there. She trusts me to provide for her, to be there for her. It is up to us to be there. Shout out to all the dads out there. We're doing a thankless job. It's never, <laughs> all to all the fathers out there, all to the mom. You've been a father for less than a week. Hey. You're like, I get it now, I, I get it. I, I do get it, okay? This past couple of nights have been trial by fire. You, you don't know? even have, it's not like you have ungrateful teenagers or anything like yeah. that. Boot camp. <laughs> Look, it's past midnight and we're still up. And it's gonna be like this every couple of hours till morning. I know last night was, she just wouldn't stop screaming. Right. So. Yeah. <clears throat> We're learning her. She's learning us. Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh, it's a walk in development. Okay. It's a stress. <laughs> so all you fathers out there, just know that um, you are appreciated. Aww. It's for the future generation. It's for the kids. Just like the government always does, that's always that. Just like the government always says when they're about to screw us over. For the kids. <laughs> Do it for the kids. We're doing it for the kids. You know? Look at that face. What would you not do for this? Hmm? What would you not do? Move mountains. I'm a father. It feels good to be a father. When you know that someone, someone's more important than you. Mm. Not that you don't, I've always done that, but you know. It's my own flesh and blood here. Yeah. I make beautiful kids. We make beautiful babies. Yeah, sure as a team. Yeah. This is round one. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Oh, get ready, mate. Right. Adama. Adama Chuku. Blessing. She's a blessing to this home. Mm -hmm. Are you done, babe? You had enough? We're having to bottle feed her for now. <laughs> Not for long. Not for long. Alright, that's it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Namdi Okora for his knife. A shout out to this beautiful, beautiful young lady, young girl, Amara. The miracle baby. Amara, Amarachi is blessing. Because she's a blessing to this family. Right? You are a blessing, huh? You are a blessing. Hmm? She makes those kind of sounds when she's ready. She makes this. I know she sticks her tongue out like that. <laughs> makes sounds, huh? You ready to eat? No, it's crazy. We had COVID right at the point when she was getting ready to come out. And we were very sick. Mm -hmm. And um, never been tested like that in a long time. Uh, I was very concerned for, for Amara here. Worried. But we beat COVID. And today we have this bundle of joy. Right? Amara, look at the camera. And smile for the camera. You're gonna be famous one day. That's right, look at you. Just taking the pose. You're gonna be famous one day. You're gonna be You're gonna achieve all that your heart desires. It's gonna be just gonna be great. It's just gonna be a light to the world. It's just gonna heal the world. Right, am I? That's right. That's right, boo. You're gonna be a blessing to the world. First to this home. Oh yeah, oh yeah, now you are, she's ready to eat. She's always ready to eat. Hmm? Aren't you always ready to eat? Hmm? Yes. All right, let's feed her. Let's, let's